Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing something a little different than what I usually do for when I make any type of HID lamp video on my YouTube channel. This particular video is going to be an explanation of all of the different burning positions used for metal halide lamps. And as a matter of fact, there are a total of five different burning positions used for metal halide lamps, which I think is crazy because of the fact that why would you need all these different burning positions used for metal halide lamps? Like, what would happen if you burn it in the wrong position? Like, I don't know. I don't know what's up with these people who invented these burning positions for metal halide lamps. But anyways, let's get on with the video and um, I'm going to be explaining each burning position used for metal halide lamps and I have five different bulbs here which all have five different burning positions on metal halide lamps. So anyways, I'm going to be um, discussing them in order from most to least common. So. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first burning position that I'm going to discuss with you people is universal, or U. You can see the letter right there, name, description of what the burning position is, and an example of the bulb description with that burning position. So you can see the letter U, meaning universal. This means that you can burn this bulb, the, you can burn the metal halide lamp in any position with no problem at all. You can burn it base down, horizontal or base up so pretty interesting if I'm allowed to say that so this ha this is the most common burning position used for metal halide lamps I've seen these metal halide lamps operate in horizontal positions in parking lot fixtures so anyways the bulb that I'm going to be featuring for the universal burn position is this one here this is my venture 400 watt 5k metal halide lamp that I got in June of this year so you can see the burning position of this bulb here is universal right there and um, this bulb can be burned in any position without any problems so pretty cool if you ask me so the next burning position that we are going to be discussing is base up so I also just flipped that over that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the paper and um, here is the second burning position that we're going to be discussing base up you can see the letters BU meaning base up, and there's the name of it. And you can only burn the metal halide bulb with the base up like in a high bay light fixture, like similar to this one right here. So back to what I was saying, you can only burn the bulb, the bulb in that position only. Um, if you actually burn it in the wrong position, it'll just decrease life on the lamp. And here is an example of a bulb description, MS400 watt slash base up. And here's the bulb that I'm going to be featuring for that burning position. This one here is my Venture 400 watt um, probe start super metal halide lamp. And you can see the letters BU right there, meaning base up. And you can also tell the arc tube only has one coating of ceramic on one end, which is the top end, if I actually burn it base down. So that's what the arc tube looks like. And some of them have two coatings of ceramic, but the etch says it's run, it's supposed to be ran base up. So that's pretty cool. So, yep, this is the second burning position that I am that I discussed to you guys. If you want to know what your metal halide lamp is, you can just just ask a question in the comments. If you have like a question about your bulb description of your metal halide lamp, you can just basically tell me in the comments below. So the next burning position that we are going to be discussing is horizontal. H O R. So. You can see it has three letters, which is pretty crazy. So um, anyways, this is the burning position right here, horizontal. So that's the name, the symbol, H-O-R, and then the name itself, horizontal. And here's the description of what it says. You can only burn the metal halide bulb off of a wall that is straight, for example. And the burning position is recommended for wall packs, since wall packs are hung from the wall, of course. And they're pointed in a horizontal operating position. So here is an example of the bulb description. And then of course, I also forgot to mention that the base up burning position angles come in four different varieties. They can come in 15, 75, I don't even know if that's real. They can also come in plus or minus 90 or 105. So I just forgot to mention that. And the horizontal can come in 15 degrees, 45 or 75. And um, bulb description earlier and here is the bulb that I'm going to be featuring for this burning position. You can see this one here is my plus right 175 watt horizontal burn position um, aquarium metal halide lamp. You can see the letters H-O-R right there. So that's the burning position for this bulb here. So 
You can only burn it like this. It cannot be burned base down or up. It can only be burned like this. So just pointing that out there. So the second to final burning position that we're gonna discuss is kind of rare. It's base down and it's BD right there. BD right there. Base down. You can only burn the metal halide bulb with the base facing the ground. And the burning position is recommended for airport taxiway and runway lighting. It can also be used in beacons too. And the angles can come in plus or minus 15, plus or minus 90, or plus or minus 105, and I'm, I'm not sure if 75 degrees is real. But here's an example of a bulb description that has that type of burning position. And the lamp that I'm going to be featuring for this burning position here is my Sylvania lamp. So this one you can see the R2 has the coating of ceramic pointed down near the base of the lamp. So, and that is how it's supposed to be burned. It's supposed to be burned like this. So you can see right here, MS400 slash pulse start slash base down only or BD only. So there we go. So this is the base down operating position. So pretty cool. And then the final burning position that we're gonna discuss here is vertical or V. It only has one letter for the burning position, which is pretty cool. And so that's the letter right there. And that's the name, vertical. You can only burn the metal halide lamp base down or up. It, it cannot be burned in a horizontal position. Here's the example of the bulb description that I decided to use. And then the bulb that I'm gonna be using for this one here is my Venture 200 watt pulse start metal halide lamp. You can see the bulb description up top and it says metal protected 200 watt slash V meaning vertical. So anyways, those are all of the different burning positions used for metal halide lamps. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. So like say if you have a, a 400 watt metal halide lamp that has a interesting looking arc tube and look at the bowl description if you see some letters that represent the operating position, just ask me a question in the comments below and I'll try to answer it. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this little explanation of all of the different burning positions used for metal halide lamps. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But for now, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you all very much for watching this explanation video.